immunotherapy is a relatively new treatment uh, in our uh, armory for treating can cancer. It works very differently to chemotherapy because immunotherapy works with our own immune system. So it, it harnesses our immune system or it revs it up so that it can do the job that it's meant to do, but it does it much more effectively against cancer cells. Cancer cells are often very clever and they're able to hide from the immune system, but by giving these drugs, they are no longer able to do that. So our, the body's own immune system is then able to kill the cancer cells and get rid of them, which is exactly what we want. Immunotherapy is using my immune system to fight cancer, in my case, melanoma. There are more than one type of immunotherapy um, and it depends on your cancer type and the reason that you're receiving the immunotherapy as to the type of immunotherapy uh, that you'll receive. Uh, in some occasions people will receive uh, two immunotherapies um, at once which is called uh, combination immunotherapy. And it really goes back to uh, the, the treatment team makes that decision as to how many uh, drugs a person gets and that's really based on many, many different factors. So so the best thing is to discuss any concerns or questions about that with the treating team. Uh, so the different things they consider is obviously the effectiveness of the drug, but also potential side effects. Uh, so the treating team is the best people to ask in detail. And it is a really important question to be asking. So the difference between immunotherapy uh, and chemotherapy is that chemotherapy causes um, cell death um, and so that uh, causes the death of rapidly dividing cells which um, results in the common side effects you see from chemotherapy such as you know, the hair loss and the nausea and vomiting. So radiotherapy used to treat cancer is uh, what we call a local therapy. In other words, you use uh, like strong x-rays and you aim them towards a specific part of the body. For example, uh, if somebody had some pain in their arm and there was a known uh, cancer deposit there, you would target, if you like, or aim the beams towards that area of cancer to uh, control the problems that the cancer is causing. So that's what I mean by local. It's sp specific to a, a certain area of the body. Immunotherapy is effective in treating many different uh, types of cancers. Um, the effectiveness of the treatment um, is different for each type of um, cancer and the situation that you're receiving the immunotherapy. Some of the questions that you might want to ask your treating team about is about the effectiveness of the, the immunotherapy or the immunotherapies that you're getting. Uh, with that the decisions that they make are very based on the individual so uh, it, it is a good conversation to have them and it, to have with them and they're very good questions to ask. We did do a lot of research. Um, you have to be careful when you do the research and you have to be careful when you do the reading um, and I guess stick to the reputable sources which we were guided um, to particular articles and particular research. Um, and in some instances, we were fed that information by particularly my oncologist uh, to ensure that it was reputable. If you, the field is changing so quickly and uh, you have to be careful that what you're reading is reputable, is up to date, um, and what specifically does it, does it mean? Immunotherapy can be very effective um, in some people, not all, unfortunately. And the other th thing about that is that we don't know who it's going to be effective for and who it's not. It might not work for everybody, like we understand that, but, you know, it's fantastic, I think. Like, the amount of people that now have a chance, be it a shorter time or a longer time, I just think it's fantastic. It's worth doing. Yes. <laughs> It's not a treatment that will work um, straight away. It sometimes takes a few weeks to months to know uh, if it's working. Uh, generally, your doctor will order some scans um, after a number of cycles of treatment, um, and that's the main way we know if it's working. I'm on a 12-month 12 12 course um, every two weeks. 
Um, I get a result to a CT scan this Thursday, which is my second CT scan to see how things are going. At the moment, the length of time to receive immunotherapy is around two years, um, but that's different um, in each um, circumstance. Um, and certainly some patients have uh, side effects, which means that they, uh, we need to stop treatment and so they don't have the full two years of treatment. Even if people have to come off their immunotherapy because of toxicity or different things, we know that it continues to work even though for a very, very, very long time. And I guess because it's so new, we don't know how, very, how long a very long time is. Some people can be on it for the rest of their life, um, and that's how long it takes. <laughs>